and welcome back and this is the final part to my let's play of Mega Man 2 I have now managed to get into Wabi Stage 3 so here I'm going to be charging up all of my weapons because you know this place is hard so <laughs> uh, make sure you have item 3 and item 1 fully charged because the stage 4 boss is annoying as hell it's probably the hardest boss in the whole game but for now here we are just jumping through the water that's full of spikes and jumping fish that the way on eating you until you like fully jumped over it for some reason. This part can be kind of uh, hectic because of this part right here. You, you fall down extremely fast and there are spikes all over the walls. You have to just gently make your like gently push yourself so you don't hit the spike. So yeah, it's kind of hectic, but you'll you'll get used to it. Here, make sure you hold um. Right there, where the two spikes are, make sure you hold forward, because if I didn't hold forward, I would have died right there. Make sure you, like, hold forward. But here, but, um, honestly, I'm blazing through this level, so I kind of make it look easy, but trust me, if you're playing this for the first time, you're probably gonna have some trouble. So we made it to the stage 3 boss, and who could it be? Who could it possibly be? Why? It's Guts Man! Well, it's the Guts Dolder, but basically it's... A giant dolder that looks like Guts Man, and he's weak to the Quick Boomerang. Very weak against the Quick Boomerang. It shades his health off extremely fast. Uh, you got to see his attacks. He basically shoots out Mets, and he shoots out some pellets. But other than that, Guts Dolder should not give you trouble at all. So we made it to probably the hardest uh, stage in the whole game. This part did took me a while. It was a pain in the ass. The stage, you, it can it, it's kind of easy when you know what you're doing. The boss himself, however, is the biggest threat, and um, I'll explain why soon. Uh, so here I'm just deciding on what I'm what I'm going to recharge. I'm going to charge the, the leaf shield because I'm going to be needing that for this part for the stage. Um, but yeah, it's basically a vertical stage where you're at first you just go up and up and up. There are some Mets, but honestly, they're not much of a threat. Um, that's one problem I have in Mega Man 2. Sometimes the jumps aren't... You have to, like, be precise in order to jump up some of these damn ladders. But that's just a minor problem. Um, here, these uh, blocks have invisible trap holes. So you gotta, like, make sure you time just right so you don't fall through them. Uh, you can use the bubble head, but I just want to keep move, get moving, so... Here I just went ahead and used item 2 because I really don't want to die here. I really don't. Um, but yeah, I'm just blazing through it. I've been playing this game for quite a while, so I pretty much know how to blaze through this game very quickly. I know some people have trouble with the YSA. I never really had trouble until like the last part, to be honest. It's not that hard. You just gotta like get used to it. So here, I recommend bringing up the, the Leaf Shield because it'll protect you from all the incoming tellies that will be in your way. And that will you can just focus on getting to the other side. Of course, the sound that the Leaf Shield makes is pretty annoying. It kind of reminds me of um, the sounds Kenshiro makes if it's a North Star, if you ask me. Because it makes this type of noise. It's kind of annoying and it is pretty obnoxious, but eh. What can you do? You know, that's how they programmed it, so it's, I can't really do anything about it. I'm sorry if you have to hear that obnoxious uh, noise. So I'm just waiting for this platform to get over there. There we go. Um, it's, yeah, this part can be quite hectic if it's your first time and you just don't know how to maneuver well. But once you get used to it, this part's not so bad. You can just easily cheat through it with the leaf shield. You don't have to really do anything as long as you have the leaf shield. That's probably one of the only things the leaf shield is actually good for. So here, I recommend just using item 2. Just gonna pull up my, uh, item 2. Just wait for that platform, that slow moving platform. And boom, rock yourself to the other side without... Just, yeah. <laughs> Um, so here we're just going to deal with some more well, Joe, so I just, I'm going to shoot out the, I'm going to use the quick boomerang to shave, take him down real quickly. Um, 
Now, that's really stupid. Why would you put a Sniper Joe in a hallway where you cannot dodge it? That's pretty stupid, if you ask me. But, um, they put him in these narrow hallways. That's really dumb. But, uh, but oh boy, folks, it's time for the hardest boss in the game. This giant room full of, I guess there's some kind of turrets. I don't know what they are. But it's just basically a giant room full of these weird looking orb, not orb, circular objects that shoot lasers at you. The lasers come in so unbelievably fast, it, you have to like, it takes like a split second to time all of your jump. It's just, this boss is annoying. You can only kill him with a crash bomb. And it takes up all your crash bombs. In order to kill this guy all in one go, you have to use the crash bombs. You have to use all of them. And it's just a really dumb way to design a boss. And the worst part is, if you die to this guy, you don't get your um, thing to charge. Um, if you waste one, just one a crash bomb, you're, you're screwed. You won't be able to beat the boss. That's freaking bad design. And it's easy to have all these walls that you can use to make this boss easier for yourself, but it uses up your crash bombs, and if you want to try to kill this guy all in one go, you have to use all your crash bombs. So you gotta do it the hard way if you want to beat this guy all in one go. And if you, and even if you do want to try the strategy of just destroying all the blocks and let him kill you, you won't have enough uh, crash bombs. You'll have to farm with the freaking Sniper Joes, who are probably the most annoying enemy in the whole game. God, this boss is just so badly designed. But luckily, I managed to get through it. Uh, managed to get through that. That was probably the hardest part of the whole playthrough for me. This boss took me a while to get through. And of course, the flickering drives me insane. Oh my god, flickering. But nevertheless, we have come to the, ro to the Robot Master Rush. So, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to this boss rush because I know no one wants to see this again. So, enjoy the musical piece that I have given to you. That was Fireman's theme from Mega Man's Network Transmission, a pretty fun theme if I do say so myself. But nonetheless, we made it to Dr. Wily in the Wily Machine 2. Uh, first phase is simple. Charge up your top fire and boom! You kill it really easy. Second phase, just as simple. Spam the Metal Boy at him. It's... This boss fight's a joke with your special, with your, uh, special abilities. It's just a joke. But, um... Nonetheless... We made it to the final stage, the true boss of the game, who is in an underground cavern beneath the Wily Castle. Now, the trick here is you want to fall, you know, like you want to constantly push forward while you're falling so you can go to the right side of the screen. And when you do that, there are a bunch of puddles up in the ceiling that will drop on you, and they actually do quite a bit of jam damage if they touch you. And I don't know what they are, I don't know if it's blood or plasma or not, but basically you can outrun them if you, like, push to the very, uh, while you're jumping, while you're jumping down to the very far right, and you'll just outrun them all. So, uh, pretty nice trick, if you don't want to get da take damage. But here we are at the true final boss of the game, it's Dr. Wily. As an alien! Shocker, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> But basically, Alien Wily here goes in an infinite shape pattern. Uh, his, it never changes, and he uh, constantly shoots pellets at you, which are very small, but they are pretty fast. Um, don't underestimate Dr. Wily here. He can hurt you so uh, for a lot if he touches you or if the pellets hit you. Do not get hit by him. 
but um, he's he he can only be hit with the bubble lead. So basically, the best timing is to wait till he's at the far, like the lowest point, which is at the center, and that's how you hit uh, kill him. But nonetheless, we beat Doctor Wily, who t and it turns out to be some kind of ho hologram combat droid or whatever that <laughs> Doctor Wily is controlling. Oh, how clever are you, Doctor Wily? But yeah, I, that's it, folks. That was Mega Man 2. And here we are with Dr. Wily uh, bowing down for mercy. Yeah. <laughs> so we beat... Uh, so yeah, that's Mega Man 2, folks. We kicked Dr. Wily's ass once again. We just we load up all his robot masters. And now we are victorious. Heading home to a weird farmland, I guess that's what it is. Some kind of, not farm then, but just weird, small town village. And Mega Man's just walking, walking, and walking through the seasons, would appears to be. Like a badass. I actually, I absolutely love the ending theme. It's an awesome 8-beat, 8-bit, uh, 8 <laughs> I'm sorry, 8-bit piece that is really fun to listen to. It definitely has you feel going through all the, all of that, uh, craziness in the game but yeah Mega Man 2 was a fascinating game I absolutely enjoyed playing through it thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed my let's plays my Mega Man let's plays this is probably gonna be my last Mega Man uh, let's play for a while I don't have any plans to do the other ones because until I uh, get good at them but this is my last Mega Man let's play for now I'll probably do something else after this but yeah that was Mega Man 2 folks we kicked everyone's ass, and beat the game. Do I think it's hard? Eh, when you know what you're doing, it's not really that hard, but for a newcomer to Mega Man, oh yeah, it'll probably be hard for them. But, um, I did play this game once on hard mode. It is definitely a lot more significantly challenging. But on normal, it's it's still as hard. Well, it's just still pretty hard on normal, too, but... Eh. But yeah, that was, that was a pretty fun ride. Um... I don't know what is with the names on the bottom. I don't know. Maybe they're like the people who designed the robot master or something. I don't know what the. But I, I don't understand this uh, credit sequence. I understand the robot master. I don't understand the names behind them. I know they helped made the game. I don't know. It's, I know it's a weird thing to comment on, but yeah, this is the ending sequence. Pretty decent credit scene, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoy my next video. See ya. Enjoy this, the rest of this credits. Other credits. <laughs>